Hello, people of the Action Figure Hub Nation. This is uh, Nate from Action Figure Hub reviewing the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Sentinel Build-A-Figure. One of the most famous Build-A-Figures. It's a very good figure. I do like it. It does have issues, though, but they're few and far between. First off, it's freaking massive. Holy smokes. Right there, see that? That's a foot. It's it's the foot up to its little chest plate right there. From the chest plate on. You can do the math. It's about 14 and a half to 15 inches. That's a big, big boy. That's a big boy. It's a big old boy. It's very painted, it's very articulated, and it's from the golden days of Marvel Legends. Boy, howdy, do. I was not alive during these days. But boy, do I wish I was. Because I now have to pay hundreds of dollars to get these figures, and boy, would it have been nice to get them for like 20. As you can see, it's massive. That's my hand. It's... Yeah, boy, it's big. I can palm a basketball, and, uh, yeah. This, this is big, and he's heavy. He's hefty, boy. And it's just very, very nice looking. You can see, head, rotation. He looks up this far, down that much. A little bit of pivot. His, he got a, he's got a bicep swivel. His bicep, his shoulder can go out this far. See, this is an issue with mine. The arm does not like to stay in, but I guess that's good for review purposes. His shoulders can go about that far. His little arm flaps, you know, they do that. This is not supposed to come off. This is supposed to stay in here. But mine doesn't like to stay in there, so I'll take advantage of this. It's got a, you know, good old double-jointed... Elbow getting you about 90 degrees. There is not a wrist hinge or wrist swivel, but it's kind of like a ball. So, like, it comes together like that. Plus the swivel. Thumb. And fingers. So, you know, me being the adult that I am, I like to do that. You can just plug that right back in there. Oh, this is going to be hard, just with the, how the way I have the camera set up and how big he is. This is going to be a tricky review. He has side-to-side -side movement with combined with front-to-back. It it's very hard to show, but it's there. So rotation both down there and up here. <laughs> a little shaking down there. Legs, that this is going to be sketchy. Oh. Move out that far. And they're very, very, they feel like they're going to snap. So it's very scary to do this. Because I am not one to about to drop another $150 on this figure. To buy another one. Yes, I would do it because I love this figure. It's a very nice figure. But I would not be one to want to. His leg can also move this far forward quite far for a big boy like him and not so far back it's got upper upper thigh rotation oh shiza double jointed knee was that far he's getting stuck in the lights thought i used to light this thing and a little bit of just shaking around in the feet so as you can see, he is really, really articulated and really big, but also he's kind of scary and feels like he's going to break. So it's it's sketchy, but it's worth it. Very, very worth it. I do enjoy this figure. I bought the entire wave 
probably $750 dropped into them. I would not recommend buying the entire wave. Uh, maybe like key figures like uh, first appearance Spider-Man I would not buy unless you're a real big fan of that. Or Mr. Sinister. He's, he's, he's a good one. I do recommend getting him. He comes with the arm, I believe, because... You have two figures that come with the same thing, and I'm just stupid enough to buy both of them. So you theoretically only need six figures to build this massive guy, and if they build one today, it'd be like the giant man that Toy Biz did with nine figures, which was insane. Lot, lot, boof, 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 boof. Lots and lots of figures. But still... I still think, say that that giant man is worth it. This is a very, very nice figure. I would stand him next to the Juggernaut, but you wouldn't be able to see him because the Juggernaut is down here. Just boy, howdy, is this a big figure? And there's so much that you could do with him. He just works. The, the sculpting alone, everything, there's nothing smooth on him. There is nothing smooth. And if it is smooth, it's painted to high hell. This doesn't look like it's been battle damaged, but it looks like it's bad already. Like it's been through battle. It's battle worn, but not battle damaged. It wasn't attacked, but it did stuff. Well, I didn't think I showed you the sculpting on the bottom of the feet. Wow, just look at that. This is just, in, it's an incredible figure. I can't say anything other than that. It is such, it's just an outstanding figure and does and does so much good and so little bad. It's like a Disney World ride. Unless it's Stitch's Great Escape. Who dis? Roasted. I mean, I really, I do recommend getting this figure. I'd pay upwards to 150 for it. I wouldn't do much more than that. If you buy the entire wave, the hardest one to get is going to be that first appearance Spider-Man. He goes for about 100 to 150. So have fun finding that for anything less than that, because I had to pay 100 or something for it. Ugh. Man, that it was terrible. But it was worth it. I It was worth it. I wish I would have bought the figure loose, but the thing with that is, you don't know if it's going to come loose. Like, if it will, joints won't work. Boy, it's just very... I really do enjoy this figure. I recommend you get it. This is Nate from Action Figure Hub signing off. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not. Ch check out the other videos on the channel. Goodbye.